자, 여기는 이제 유클란 의대고요. 지금 수업 시간 사이에 잠깐 이제 시간을 내서 우리 대학의 협조를 받아가지고 교실 중에 한 곳을 좀 소개를 해드리고 어떻게 수업을 하는지 좀 알려드릴게요. Hello, hi. Uh, my name is Asim. I'm a lecturer in clinical skills uh, in phase one. So we teach first and second year medical student um, the clinical skills, or we call it the doctoring skills, the skills that make them doctors in this lab. So this is our main lab in Preston. Uh, we've got different equipment in the lab, and we show them different techniques. So we show them how to examine the heart, how to examine the lungs, how to examine the, the abdomen. Uh, we've got, for example, one of the other models that we use. We use like the hand models to show them how to take blood in and out. The, today's session, for example, we were, we were teaching the medical students, in first year medical students, how to do an ultrasound scan of the lung. And this is one of the new techniques that's coming recently in medicine. I'll show you the machines that we have. So we've got a very modern machine, like this one. This is a handheld ultrasound scanner. So that's very rare uh, in other medical schools that we use th these handheld. This is a very, very advanced one. And then we have the normal, the normal machine, like, like this one, that we use also these, these ultrasound machines. These are the normal ultrasound machine that, that we use. So diff different machines, different techniques that we use here in the, in the skills up for all the medical students. Um, then it depends on the session. Uh, for example, today we're talking about the lungs because last week we've talked about the respiratory system. Uh, and then in the future we will talk about the abdomen and then we will show them how to examine it and how to do specific tests on it. Uh, we, our main teaching is in small groups. So always there's tutor to seven students, or eight as maximum. Uh, and that's proven to have uh, more concentration, uh, more uh, the students, like they have a tutor, they can ask him directly questions rather than a big group sessions. So all the, all the technique that we follow here is small group. We have 14 tutors in every session. We've got different machines. We've got ECG machine also as well. We show them how to, to do an ECG scan like, for example, the ones that we have here. The heart tracing, got different types of models. The checking the weight, checking the, uh, the, the height. And also the lab has high technology. We've got the big screens here to give them a general overview. And also each bed cubicle has a screen. And the student can log in. And, and it's touch a screen as well. It's computer and touch a screen. So they can log in, they can open their notes, and then revise and examine at the same time and with all the privacy. And the, the setup of the lab is, is like the NHS, like the hospital, to make them feel, bring them to life, to feel like it's very close to, to reality. So, so these are lots of things that we have in the lab. We've got a big lab, it's 27 bed, this, bed in this lab. So also this side as well, we've got different, different type of things on the lab. The blood pressure machines, for example, these are the blood pressure machines that when we teach them to take blood pressure in, in year one. Uh, okay, my question is, you know, the Ukraine there are many international students rather than yes. local. I mean, is it okay for them to cope with the uh, NHS system in the, in the UK? It's very, very difficult to us, the international students. Yeah, this is why we, we tr one of the main idea of our lab is to be as realistic as the NHS system. And, and all the equipment that you have, we have it from the NHS. So we're trying to simulate to them the, the actual work life. So uh, we have students uh, that who graduated and now they are junior doctors foundation, year one and year two doctors in the NHS system. Um, so I, I, think, I think that won't be a, uh, a big issue uh, and we will look after them. Yeah, welcome Korean students. Welcome to your clan. Uh, and come and join us. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, hi, I'm Chris Phillips. I'm an anatomist here at the University of Central Lancashire. I teach medical students, PA students, dentistry students. Um, uh, we do a lot of undergraduate courses here at UCLan and a lot of postgraduate ones as well. Our main one that we do is undergraduate medicine, where we teach first and second year anatomy here at the Preston campus, and then they go to Burnley, um, uh, a couple of miles away, for their third, fourth, and fifth years 
as well. So this is the preclinical years where they'll learn anatomy, mostly in this lab. And we've also got a lab um, just downstairs as well. So one way that we teach is we've got the anatomage table. We've also got lots of models around the room. So we've got um, uh, lots of high quality models from like Adam Rowley um, uh, and we've got a few more pathology models coming. So right now students are doing GI. So um, uh, one of the lecturers um, just now has got GI models set up for them to have a look around. Um, uh, and then you've got your torso models which are used in most labs as well. So these are all highly anatomically accurate. The students really like them because while we don't use dissection, we use the models, we use anatomage, we use complete anatomy, and we use imaging to try and give them a full complement instead of just one thing. So the models give them this 3D holding as well. Um, uh, I can show you on the anatomage table what we have as well. So on the anatomage table, it's a 3D cadaver and it's fully segmented. Essentially what that means is anything that I touch, it will tell me what it is and I can remove that structure as well. So if I just reduce this down here, we can get down to muscle, we can go through all the layers. You can also do individual dissection of removing types of muscle. So if I tap on that, that's transverse abdominal muscle. And then I can remove that as well. So I can remove as I go down, which means that we can start seeing different structures and different layers of the body. So even when I start scrolling through it more, it will still have it removed. So other ways that students can use this is we do a lot of um, uh, sort of teaching within planes. So in x-rays and CT scans and so on, you've got different planes of imaging and this can mimic them. So we can do things like, let's say, a coronal section where that's a slice through the front of the body. And if I do that, then they can actually scroll through in that plane and see those structures. It's probably a bit more obvious if we do a sagittal section. So you can actually see different structures there. And then if I scroll through the body, you can actually go through in the plane that you've got there. So this is how we generally, with the models as well, this is how we generally teach first year students. Second year students, we quite often use the case library on anatomage. So for example, when I was teaching the other week, we looked at a CT of pregnancy. So the anatomage table actually has lots of cases. It has, I think, probably over a thousand cases that are pathology. So they've got CT scans, which allow the students to have a look at it. So like on this screen here, I can, so you can window x-rays and so on, CTs, which basically means that you can see structures a bit better. So if I was to scroll through this, this is a CT of pregnancy. So you can actually see the fetus um, within the uterus there as you scroll through. But actually being able to see something, identify it on a CT, so we'll teach them that they're able to identify like vertebra, they can identify kidneys, different blood vessels and so on. They're not gonna start cutting open people unless they're a surgeon. Um, uh, another thing that we use is Complete Anatomy, which is a app that you can get on your phone, on your tablet, and we also sometimes use it in this lab as well. But that allows us to have teach with this 3D anatomy and then also move it on to their studying techniques where they can have their own um, sort of app, their own anatomy that they can look at as well. So students can use this independently if they wanted this lab is open to them whenever it's not in use for teaching as well. So we've got quite a lot at our disposal for teaching anatomy. Thank you. It's great. Yeah. All good? Yeah.